The heart is a muscle that has to work 24 seven and can beat over three billion times in one's lifetime. Occasionally, the valves inside the heart that manage blood flow stop working properly. So in this video, we explore the various problems associated with this condition and provide some exercise recommendations. Hi everyone and welcome to Exercise for Health. I'm Richard and today we are looking at valvular heart disease. If you're new to this channel, we offer tips, advice and exercises to help you manage your health condition with physical activity. So go ahead and tap the subscribe button below and the bell icon if you want to be notified of when we upload a new video. Let's start with some basic heart anatomy so you can begin to understand the function of the four valves inside the heart. We will start with the blood in the lungs. Here it picks up oxygen and transports it to the heart via the pulmonary vein where it enters the left atrium. The mitral valve then allows the blood to pass from the left atrium into the left ventricle. The oxygen rich blood is then pumped by the left ventricle through the aortic valve and out the aorta via the arteries to the muscles, organs and tissues in the body. After the oxygen is absorbed by the body, the deoxygenated blood travels back through the veins, eventually through the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium of the heart where the tricuspid valve allows the blood to pass into the right ventricle before it is then pumped through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery back to the lungs for it to collect oxygen again. In heart valve disease, one or more of these four valves don't open or close properly, causing a disruption to the blood flow through the heart. This can be due to the natural aging process, abnormalities because of congenital heart disease, damage of the heart muscle from a heart attack or other causes such as endocarditis, cardiomyopathy, rheumatic fever or Marfan syndrome. It can be classified as mild, moderate or severe and it can lead to an enlarged heart or heart failure from the following problems. Stenosis is when the valve opening becomes narrow and restricts blood flow through it. Prolapse is when a valve slips out of place or the flaps known as leaflets do not close properly. And regurgitation, when blood leaks backwards through a valve, sometimes due to a prolapse. However, many valvular heart diseases can be treated with medication and in some cases the valve can be surgically repaired or even replaced with either a biological or mechanical valve. If you know you have heart valve disease, then you can lower your risk of developing further health problems by leading a healthy lifestyle. And although being physically active and taking regular exercise won't improve how your heart valve works, it will help increase your health and quality of life. It will also help you manage some of the symptoms of the condition, which can include shortness of breath, fatigue and weakness. If I have someone refer to me with valvular heart disease, then I would generally prescribe exercise in the same way I would for someone with coronary heart disease. Therefore, I recommend the following. Try to be physically active for a total of 150 minutes a week. As an example, this can be going for a 30 minute walk on five days of the week where you feel a little out of breath. If you choose to do some structured exercise, then a cardiac rehab class would be advisable where you can be monitored and supported by an exercise specialist instructor. If you would prefer to exercise independently, like cycling, swimming, or going to the gym, then ensure that you gradually warm up, slowly increasing the intensity for a six to 10 minute period to allow the heart to adjust to the demand of your chosen activity. When you are exercising, it's worth using the rate of perceived exertion scale of zero to 10 to monitor your intensity. You should feel around a four, five or six on this scale where you feel puffed, but can manage it for the duration you're exercising. You can also use your heart rate as a way of monitoring your exercise intensity, but this topic is a separate video in itself, which I did a couple of weeks ago, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check out that one after this video. When choosing what type of exercises you can do in the gym or at home, then you should include cardiovascular exercises mainly, such as an exercise bike, step ups and aerobic movements, using the arms and legs for a few minutes, interspersed with moderate resistance exercises, such as arm exercises with weights, squats and press ups for about 10 to 15 repetitions. 
This interval format, switching between cardio and resistance exercises, will help strengthen the heart muscle without overloading it too much. It's not recommended to push weights above the head, perform isometric exercises such as the plank, or attempt to lift extremely heavy weights, because they will all greatly increase your blood pressure, placing increased demand on the heart and valves, and increasing the risk to your health. If you want a home program to follow, then I've done a few workout videos on this channel that would be suitable, two of which are specific to a cardiac rehab format that I will leave links to in the description below. Finally, if you have valvular heart disease, then you would have had consultations with a doctor or cardiologist, so it's always best to take their advice as they will know how the condition affects you and can point you in the right direction. I hope the information provided in this video has given you some helpful guidance for planning your exercise and physical activity. If so, then please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below to help this channel grow so more people can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and remember to stay active, keep moving and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click here to subscribe to this channel or click here to watch a recent video. See you soon.